I am your God You are my child I'm holding you close Guiding your way If darkness surrounds, no You're not forsaken Forever you are my child I am your I am your God and you are my child. That is our hope as Christians, our, our confidence that that is the truth. You know, we are, if you could sum up Christianity in one word, I think it would be hope. You know, we have a history, the Old Testament, generations of people hoping for the day of salvation. And we live in a time when that has been fulfilled in the world. And so the question is, how do we live it in our own lives, right? How do we live in our own lives? in a world where we just seem to be going from one turmoil to the next, and we're passing from one drama and crisis to the next, do we realize that we plant our feet on something that is bigger than what we see with our eyes and that we have, can have confidence in? You know, my favorite, one of my favorite lines from the Mass every Sunday is, we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, for we know the end of the story. We know the end of the story. I want to take a moment and invite you to the parish mission or retreat that I'll be facilitating at your parish soon. What if we just took a few days and put aside all of the worries of our day and recognize what would it look like if we lived our life every day in that confidence, every day in that joy-filled hope that God is with us. I was doing a, a, a retreat very similar to what I'll be doing exactly at your parish. And this man came up to me at the end one night and he said, hey, I just wanted to thank you for tonight. I, I really needed this. And I never take that moment for granted. I occasionally am the person that needs to say, thank you, I needed this. We all are, right? And so I know that takes a little courage. And I just said, you're very welcome. I, I just want to acknowledge that you decided to come here. That's what made the difference. And he said, that's very nice, but actually I didn't decide to come here. My wife made me come here, but I appreciate the thought. And uh, that happens, I think, more than we realize. And so whether you're a person who can't wait to come to something like this, or you may need someone to, to drag you just a little bit, uh, I think it's so worthwhile to take a little bit of time out of our life. My very first retreat experience in my own life I was given a little holy card, if you will, a bookmark, really, for my Bible. And it says on it, there is a God-shaped vacuum in your heart that only God can fill. And I've never forgotten that, you know? There's a space in my heart that is meant for God. And things just don't add up until I let God fill that space. And most of the sin and trouble in our lives is not because we're bad or evil people. In, in fact, I'm certain that we're not bad and evil people, but I think we take that space that feels so empty and we fill it with something because something feels better than nothing. Um, but ultimately, none of those things will satisfy. Uh, St. Augustine said, our hearts will be restless until they rest in thee. And that's the truth. Our hearts are restless until they rest in God. So what have we got to lose? To take a few days, a life-giving experience of singing a little, praying a little, laughing a little, maybe crying a little, praying together and being the family of God together. That is who we're called to be. We help each other get there. Uh, the only traumatic thing about coming to one of my missions, I think, is that I see so often people walk into the door and they head right for their spot. They know where it is. They sit there every Sunday only to discover, hey, someone is sitting in my spot. And there's something even worse than that. That guy, he thinks it's his spot, right? Because he comes to the nine o'clock mass and sits there and clearly doesn't realize that 1030 is the definitive definer of who gets to sit in that spot. So other than uh, occasional seating turmoil, I believe you'll find that a very worthwhile experience. You won't regret it. We are the body of Christ. And when we live it and we support each other, uh, even in the difficult times in life, we know that God is with us. When you walk through the fire, though flames may inspire your fear, know that you won't be burned. When you pass through the water, sinking hopelessly farther, you will not drown, rest assured. 
I am your God. You are my child. I'm holding you close, guiding your way. If darkness surrounds, no, you're not forsaken. Forever you are my child. Forever you are my child. Forever you are my child. I am your 